Welcome back to the Story of Liberty. This is your host, John Bona. We're going to talk about the principles of economic liberty that our nation really needs to get back to. You know, there really are a few situations more interesting to the people in America today than the economy. Many of you who love America and its great potential, let us consider the, the following thoughts. You know, we know that America is still the most prosperous and greatest nation on the planet. But much work needs to get done to keep her as a thriving nation. But we can do it. Remember, people made America what it is. And we, especially Christians, can make America what it ought to be. We believe that. We've learned that internal liberty comes only from Christ, through our faith in God and our morality, our trust in Him. This internal liberty is what produces ultimately a good working economy, and I'd like to explain why. We should note that when Christ appeared on the earth before the world in general had, uh, at this time, a very low view of manual labor. It was only meant for the lower classes and the slaves, not suitable for the free men of the day. To work was not dignified then. But Christ was this new role model that brought dignity to manual labor. He was raised in the home of a carpenter. He worked as a carpenter. And the followers of Christ did manual labor as well. The Apostle Paul was a tent maker, and he admonished the Thessalonians, if a man will not work, he should not eat. Paul also said to work with your hands as we have instructed you, so that you will live properly before others and not be dependent on others. Now this new work ethic brought prosperity to those who were willing to work with their hands and the sweat of their brow. And this is what should happen, because God desires for us to be economically productive. He doesn't want us sitting around doing nothing. Look, at he placed Adam in the Garden of Eden, even before sin entered the, the world, and work wasn't really, there wasn't a need for labor. But he put him in there to work it and dress it. God would not have people idle. So we clearly see that our work should be a part of our calling in life, to bless others and serve them. It's a good way for Christians to expand the kingdom of Christ on earth through our work. Now this internal liberty that we will show, it'll be revealed in our work habits and it'll be seen by others, our co-workers and our employers. You know, did you know that God really likes work? Right in the book of John 5.17, he declares, and he answered them, My father is working until now, and I myself am working. That's what Christ said. You know, what better example is there for us to be Christ-like in our work? Now, I'm pretty sure that is why God created us with a need for food to survive and shelter. Because this gives us the incentive to enjoy that Chick-fil-A sandwich. I love their chicken tenders. Now, get out to Chick-fil-A this weekend or during the week and support Chick-fil-A. They're a great company. They have great integrity. And it's companies like this with integrity and initiative Others that have had great inventions that produced this great work ethic America once had, that America started. And we could return to these economic liberties and America could still prosper.